Hi, I'm Anika Rodriguez. I'm Deanna Ordonez, and today we're making a piñata. Oh, we're also going to talk about Cinco de Mayo. In the U.S. Yes. Yeah. Maybe we cover it in like red, green, and white. Right? You want to keep it just full so Mexico? Full Mexico? Okay, that's fine. Glitter? <laughs> for me, usually Cinco de Mayo is like a time for like my family to just kind of come over. I feel like we have a lot of family gatherings, as a lot of Hispanic families do. But it's nice because I'm from Dallas, so it's really hot in May in Texas. Um, so I guess I just like to gather around with our family, have Mexican food, carne asada, tacos, be by the pool, listen to some Mexican music, and yeah, just celebrate the day, celebrate our culture, and it's nice to have it in Texas as well as in Mexico, you know? Or what do you do for Cinco de Mayo? Yeah, usually, like, I mean, at least growing up, it was always just like, carne asada is out back. Mm -hmm with our family, it was nice to like have those moments with Daddy too. Yeah. To like be able to spend that time together. Especially now that like we're all in different places. Yeah. I kind of miss that. But yeah, just big family dinners. I think it looks pretty good so far. I mean, I think it looks pretty Mexican. Oh. <laughs> Pretty good so far, I think. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. What about your other hand? Oh, they're oh. both. Oh. Okay. Can you tell that it says Mex? <laughs> that looks good. I need to put some more of this on there. Though. What do you think? Good? <laughs> Super pretty. 10 out of 10. It feels bonito. <laughs> I think some of us made more sacrifices than others, but it's okay. Teamwork. Todd is sometimes. Hey, high five. <laughs>